In this video, we're going to look at the diode and surge protection device tests in the SMFT-1000. When you first switch to this test, the first thing you'll see is the bypass diode test. In this one, we can test bypass diodes to ensure that they're meeting their manufacturer's ratings. We can hit the down arrow and set the voltage limit. We're going to need to know the data from the bypass diode manufacturer or the PV module. In some cases, you may be able to get the module data from the mobile app, which is currently in development. But in most cases, we're going to go down and set it manually. So we can go in and manually set what voltage should pass through that bypass diode. Something to know about testing bypass diodes with the SMFT-1000, you have to black out the module in order to do the test. The voltage that the PV cells are creating will interfere with the bypass diode test. So you need to somehow cover the module or do it at night when there is no irradiance. We can also test blocking diodes, very similar to the bypass diode test. You need to get the manufacturer's information for what voltage should be going through that diode. We can also do a continuous diode test. If we had lots of diodes to test, we would use this one where we can just go point to point and test those diodes. We can also test our surge protection devices to ensure that they're working properly. Again, we want to go and find the manufacturer's data of the surge protection device and see what the voltage through that surge protection device should be. We can hit the info button and see how we're going to set up our leads when we do that test as well. So handy thing if you're doing bypass diode testing in the field or you want to test your surge protection device. Now, thanks for joining us. Have a great day.